Hello again, everybody. And you know what show this is. Or do you? Who's going to have a shirt like this? What I mean is, who's going to make one like this? Look at this. Does anybody know what this is? Look at this. Watch. J O H N N Y Johnny. But what this is, guys, actually, it's the chemical makeup of capsaicin. This is the chemical molecule of the chemical capsaicin that is in every chili pepper you eat. Just so happens that it says Johnny. Is that a coincidence? I don't think so. I think that was actually a pretty smart idea. The guy who made this shirt, he probably found this one day and he says, That's awesome. I'm going to make a channel. Who am I talking about? Who would make a shirt like this? Johnny Scoville. That's who. Of Chase the Heat. Who would make a shirt like this? With one of the most gnarliest looking peppers but the best looking pepper with a halo on it and a devil's tail and who <clears throat> who would send you a shirt with this on it Johnny Scoville that's who His channel is only one of many that hold the name Heat in it, like this one, Hungry for Heat. And his is definitely not the first. There is another channel called Eat More Heat that I found goes back to at least eight years. It's a very good channel. I don't remember the gentleman's name who created it. But it's very good and you should check it out. But there is Eat More Heat. There's Tasting the Heat. There's this show, Hungry for Heat. There's Chase the Heat. There may be more. So, even though his is not the first or the only one, it's one of the better ones. Probably one of, one of the best ones. I won't say it's the best. Anyway, another question for you guys is who else would have their picture on a product? On a seemingly very awesome product. I've never had this, but I've, but I've heard good things about it. What is this? This is The Counselor by Jay Smallbatch, created by Jason Roby. Now, if you have a hot sauce named after you, what does that tell you? Huh? You, you gotta be something special to do something like that. Not only that, who takes something like a fairly decent challenge like the Death Nuts, right? Modifies it for chili heads and makes it closer to what we want. 
and calls it the Tube of Terror. Who? This guy. And his picture's on the Tube of Terror as well. Those aren't the only products that he has either. Okay. So just really quick rundown of, of what's in this sauce. This is a small batch in this small bottle. And uh, I mean, it looks really nice though. I like this. I love the boxes they come in. So here's this one. Here is <clears throat> another one. I love the art deco of these things. And one one thing last but not least. Who would send you a bottle of this just because there was uh, a tiny error on a, on a shipment, you know, that was made? I uh, I ordered a shirt, well, a couple of shirts from, from Johnny. There was a tiny error that was made. It wasn't his fault. But he stepped up, and I had actually ordered this from Jay's Small Batch. So it was on its way. Then when I got my T-shirts, Johnny had sent me this. That's who would do that. Johnny Scoville. So just a quick rundown of what's in this sauce. This, this writing is kind of small. So I have to take off my glasses and blind. Has distilled water, <clears throat> scotch bonnet peppers, ghost peppers, organic vinegars, distilled white champagne, apple cider, white and red wine, ooh, coconut, aged balsamic, grilled organic pineapple, organic horseradish, organic onion, organic carrots, organic garlic, sea salt, and spices. That sounds amazing. It really does. I can't wait to try this. So in honor of, of you, Johnny Scoble, in case in case you you know you guys are watching this and, and you don't you're not in the know, you don't know what's going on. Uh you know, this guy tried to challenge Johnny Scoville tried to challenge this the other day. That I've never seen anybody try. I don't know of anybody else that would try it. And it was it was very difficult challenge and it wasn't based on the heat, it was based on the quantity. He tried uh what's called the Valhalla Death Sausage. Made by Joy Kilman at Old 300 Ranch. And he tried to do it twice in one sitting. One time is hard enough. But with so much meat <clears throat> that he didn't pass it. So, you know, he was disappointed in himself. It makes sense. I mean, we're all disappointed when we, if we don't pass a challenge, we fail it. But you know what? It happens. I haven't passed everything I've tried. I just record most everything I do, so you wouldn't know that. <clears throat> as far as the smell, I, I, got, I got a habanero smell. Almost right away. Over anything else. And that smells really good. <clears throat> I like that. Consistency. It's not super thick, guys. It's not real thin either. You know, it's not too runny. It looks nice. It's got a nice golden uh, tan, almost tannish color or apricot. Like it's got the apricot in there. You can't. I can't really turn that without spilling it. But this is for you, Johnny Scoville, Jason Roby, who created this as well. Here we go. Down the hatch. Wow. It's got almost a, a nutmeg or something flavor there. I'm not sure what that was. Because it's supposed to have garlic. I'm sure it has some salt in it, I said. I forget what all is in there. Heat-wise, 
I mean, it's not a killer, you know. I think that for a non-chili head, you guys could handle this pretty well. Uh, it, you know, for someone who's not really used to the heat, you might be able to drink, you know, to try some of this and might be uh, three or four for you. I'll give you some heat. But I like that. That's really good. Really good sauce, Jason. Really nice. I like that. Try a little more. I don't want to spill this. <laughs> and it makes me think right away of if I were to grill something and put that on there. Some grilled um, chicken breast. Mm, it kind of has a barbecue quality to it. It doesn't taste like barbecue. But that's why I'm thinking grill so much. I think it would go really nicely on a lot of stuff you could grill. So, it's very uh, much a sauce deserving of this guy's face. Hello everybody, I'm Johnny Scope and this is Chase the Heat. And so... In honor of Johnny Scoble, if it's for if it's worth doing, huh? It's worth overdoing. So Johnny Scoble, here's to you, buddy. Yeah, that's good. Oh, a little intense flavor there. Off of uh, the vinegar. Mm. Heat-wise, I'm at about a 1, 1 to 2. Uh, but this is really yummy stuff. And guys... Because this is a small batch, you know, I don't think he's making it anymore. He might be. <clears throat> I have spoken to him once or twice. And I think he said he still has some in his private reserve. Um, but I honestly don't know if he's still making this. You can send him a message on Facebook. Jason Roby. Or maybe Google Jay's Small Batch. I'm sorry I don't have the web address right now. What I will do is I'll put the web address in the description down below. Please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Hit the uh, red subscribe button. Hit the bell for notifications so you'll see when I upload new videos. Uh... What else can I say? I'm glad that I have the second bottle because I'm going to enjoy this one a bit more. The heat is ramping up a little bit. That ghost pepper, it's really nice. It's a really, really nice balance of all the ingredients in there. And the heat is over is not overwhelming. So, like I'm saying, if you guys are non-chili heads, this could be a really nice gateway. Nice place to start. It's got my nose running a little bit. Really good. Really, really, really good, Jason Roby. And, again, I want to say if uh, you guys have never seen Johnny Scoble, you're really missing out. you never seen Chase the Heat, check it out. Chase the Heat on YouTube. He's got tons of videos. He's been out since, like, 2016. He is one of the most personable, friendly people that you'll ever see. Has like 30,000 followers now. Family members. 
And the show's really awesome. He does great challenges. And who else would put their uh, goatee in a three fork right there? That's for a challenge, right? Sometimes it's in a two, and I forget what that stands for. And sometimes it's just in one. Still got a little bit in there. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. And more great videos to come, more challenges to come. And uh, thank you. Love you. This has been Hungry for Heat.